Hey everyone, how's it going today? Coach Alvarez here, back at you another episode of Coffee with Coach on this awesome Sunday morning. Hope you're up doing well. Got the mind in the right place. If not, as always, let's put it in the right place. So um, before I head up to the Dallas Open this morning and uh, go coach some students and be around some awesome competitors, I wanted to get out today uh, a couple things that um, I've been listening to, hearing, uh, experiencing, whatever. Um, so it's always interesting to me um, when you have tournaments, competition, you know, you're going to have some wins and losses. You know, unfortunately, you know, you would love all your students to win every single match. Obviously, that's not realistic. Um, some are going to come up short. And to me, it's the, it's the reactions of when someone loses, you know, and there's a lot of different reactions. There's a lot of different reactions. Um, and there's the reaction of, um, you know, disappointment, <clears throat> sadness, maybe a little tears. Um, <clears throat> and then there's the reaction of, of uh, you know, when's the next one? You know, put me back in there. Can't wait to get back out there, do it again. Uh, frustrated, of course, no one likes to lose, but there's definitely a big difference between some people when they win and lose. And I think over time you start to learn how to, uh, or at least you should be able to deal with, uh, losing if you're have the right mindset. And that's what we're going to talk about. So, um, so again, a couple competitors yesterday come up short um, one, you know, obviously, both of them, I would say are both pretty, you know, they, they're not happy with the results, obviously, but one kind of questioning themselves. The other is waiting to get back out there and compete again so they can try again to improve again. They understand that, um, it's part of the process. And sometimes when we want something so bad, and we work so hard for something and it doesn't go our way, um, one of the first jerk reactions is to question yourself as to why it is you're doing what it is you're doing. Is it worth it? You know, why am I putting myself through all this? Why am I sacrificing, you know, my weekends, my my favorite foods? Why am I, why am I, you know, dealing with these uh, injuries, um, you know, being exhausted or whatever the case may be, all the things that it takes to get to, uh, especially in jujitsu, um, to get to the top. Okay. Uh, so you have the two reactions. One, you know, you understand that that's what it takes. It's going to take some lumps. It's going to take some losses. It's going to take some major disappointments. Again, you work so hard. You put so much effort into it. You, you, you're eating right. You're, 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 you know, trying to get X amount of hours of sleep. You're trying to get X amount of hours on the mats, extra drilling sessions, extra rounds, um, putting yourself and your body through all these things, and then it doesn't work out in your favor. Um, so the the thing that I was listening to this morning, <clears throat> and it was a title that I put in the description here. Um, I think I shared some of this video before, but I wanted to share this part. So it's Andy Frisilla, New Year Motivation, Why This Year Won't Be Your Year, okay? Um, yeah, I did share this one before. So the YouTube channel is Joseph Cronin. I don't really know this guy. He just shared this video. And so I clicked on it. And he's talking about, Andy Frisilla is talking about in this video, if you look, whatever, you, whatever it is you're looking for, you will find it, okay? So if you're, whatever reason you're looking for, you will find it. Meaning, in a loss, Okay, you will find a reason to quit. You will find a reason to question yourself and be like, well, maybe this isn't for me. Maybe I'll go off and do something else. And then you have the other reason of, you know, finding in that loss somewhere is the good. Okay, because there's good in the loss. There's mistakes that are made. There's lessons to be learned. And you're going to find a reason to keep going. Okay, and we can put this not just with jujitsu losses, but in any loss in life where, um, you know, the first time we feel pain, it's time to check out, you know, the first time that we feel disappointment, you know, 
it, it's if you got to cry, like in this video, he's like, maybe it's a different video. Anyway, he's like, if you got to cry, cry. OK, get it out and then get back to work versus cry, you know, go in the room, turn the lights off, sit in the dark. Don't come back out for a week and then like go do something else. OK, not productive, not getting anywhere that way. So whatever, whatever reason you're looking for in your head, you're going to find it. Okay. If you find the reason to keep going, you will find it. If you find the reason to quit, you will quit. You will find that reason. It's in there. You will find it somewhere inside your mind, the thing that will push you in either direction. Which one do you want? Okay. And this is huge because it's either going to take you away from your goal or it's going to get you there. Okay. One of my students that lost yesterday, he posted, um, his medal and he went one in one yesterday and he's like the hunt continues the hunt continues he understands this is part of the process he understands that that and and when he lost he lost like he he lost by a lot of points okay and he got submitted on top of that like that cannot feel good okay that cannot feel good but his attitude in his you know, he's approachable after the loss. You know, he didn't have his head down. I didn't see him like ignore me or, um, you know, just try to shy away. He, he, he came back around, supported his other teammates. He was talkative. And then he made his post later on with his medal talking about the hunt continues and he competes later on this afternoon. So I look forward to, you know, being there to coach him and watch him and do his thing today, regardless of the outcome. Okay. This guy is getting better. He continues to improve because he understands it's part of the process. He is finding a reason. He is looking for that reason to keep going versus looking for that reason to call it quits. Okay. Believe me, I've been coaching for 13 years. Okay. And I've been training jujitsu for over 20 years. Okay. I've come across a lot of different mindsets. It's very, very interesting to me. The things that come out of people's mouth when they lose. Okay. And I'm, and I'm guilty of, of a lot of those things where, you know, me and myself, I, you know, I would lose and I would, you know, I've had, I've had a few bad ref decision kind of things before in the past and I would post some things or whatever. Uh, and now I don't, okay. I'll take the loss. Doesn't go my way. I understand, you know, sometimes there's bad judgment calls or whatever, it is what it is. Can't do anything about it. Can't change the outcome. All I can do is get back to work the next day. Okay. In the beginning, you know, you know, I had to check myself and tell myself, man, that, that ain't helping you. That is not, that's not helping the situation at all. What's going to help the situation is you get back up tomorrow and get back to work. You know, you know, you know, feel the pain for a day or so, man. And then it's, it's ready to get back. It's ready to get back to it. So, um, and then I was having, you know, more coffee this morning. I was watching ESPN and, uh, for those that watch ESPN, you have the, 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 what's it called? Um, the featured, the sports center featured, uh, episode and they have this, um, sports agent and she's a female and she's only like 28 years old. And in that interview, she's talking about obviously being like the only female sports agent, like that that's not really, you know, she had a lot of things going against her. And she specifically said in this interview, I understand that I got to fail my way to success. Okay. So it's all perspective. It's all a mindset. Okay. She in, in, I, I followed her Instagram page and I went to the, you know, I, I watched the, I rewinded it and watched the interview again. So it's good stuff. It's really good stuff because she was told as a female, like, you know, this is a guy thing. You know, guy, guys are the sports agent. You know, we, you know, the, basically you ain't going to make it. And that was the motivation, the reason she looked for a reason instead of to quit, to use that as motivation to keep going. So whatever it is that you're looking for, you will find it. Okay. You find a reason to keep going, you'll keep going. You find a reason to quit, you'll quit. Okay. The excuse is there. If you want the excuse to be there to make yourself feel better that thing is going to be there for you all day. Okay. You look for that reason to keep going, keep fighting, keep moving. That's going to be there, you know? Um, so if you want to check this out again, it's Andy Priscilla, new year motivation, why this year won't be your year. And he's talking about in this video, 
Why it won't be your year is because of your perspective and what you're looking for. You're finding a reason to call it quits. You're finding a reason to check out versus finding that reason to keep going. So where are you at right now? Where do you want to be? Where are you trying to go? Did you quit on something? Did you start something and stop? Did you, you know, actually I came across um, uh, a friend of mine yesterday at the competition and, you know, everyone said, hey, how's it going? You know, you know, how's the school? You know, we, you know, kind of thing back and forth. And um, anyways, I haven't really seen him like post anything training wise, uh, uh, social media, like training students, anything. So I was like, man, what's going on? Like, I haven't, you know, kind of like, you know, kind of just went ghost. Like, he's, oh, man, you know, COVID, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, and I was like, man, get back to it. Like, get back to it. Go back to the training. Get back to training. Get back to posting. Get back to, get back to doing, like, man, because you know, he's a black belt. So, um, you know, I'm used to seeing his, thing, his, his stuff on, on Facebook and Instagram, and I don't see it anymore. And he's like, you know what? I'm going to post something tomorrow. So we'll, we'll see if, if that happens today or maybe he'll do it uh, tomorrow because it's the beginning of the week. But COVID was the reason why. He's like, man, COVID happened. And I just kind of went under the radar and just disappeared. All of you guys know since COVID happened, I've been getting after it and I'm going to continue to get after it. So it's just finding a reason. Okay, During these times, these tough times like that we had left last year, um, you know, I did what I had to do, you know, did Zoom classes, did whatever. I, I got to find a reason to keep this thing alive. I got to find a reason to keep this thing going, man. And like, I'm not going to just let this thing beat me. You know what I mean? I'm not going to let this thing just tear my business apart and everything that I worked so hard for, for all these years, just, just let it go because this bad time is happening. I got to figure out a way. And how, I figure, how did I figure out a way? By reading the things that I was reading and listening to the things that I was listening to and that I'm sharing with you guys. And then as a result of actually COVID, these Coffee with Coach episodes came about sharing positive things and, you know, mental toughness and, and just finding a way, guys, to just battle through all the crappy things that happened to us, man. Everyone's going through something. You're going through something. I'm going through something. No one... I've talked about it before. We're all dealing with stuff. Some worse than others. It is what it is, but you got to keep going. You're here. Battle through it. Find a reason to keep going. Whatever it is that you're looking for, you'll find it. If you want the excuse, it's there for you all day. If you want to find a win, find a way to keep going and win, that is there for you too. So it's your choice, okay? So hope this helps, okay? Uh, got to get back to some chores and then get up to the tournament and... Um, Hope you guys have a great day and a great start to the week. We'll catch you on the next one. We'll see you.